Okay, let's go inside and see what Dan has done in this van. The least recent um, upgrade. Hey Dan, tell us about what's happening. Hey guys, right, so um, these guys uh, came to us as a referral, um, which is super nice. Uh, so they they bought this van with um, probably a fairly reasonable system from the manufacturer. So it came with 400 amp hour of, of lithium uh, and then a drive 2600 watt inverter um, and a BM Pro system. Now, unfortunately, um, as we've discussed a number of times before, with these all-in-one type systems, like the BM Pro, uh, the projector, and to some extent, the Manager 30, um, they are very limited for what you can do with them in terms of functionality once you go outside of their core features. Um, and also, particularly with these types of systems, the BM Pros, they don't have a DC-DC built-in. Um, You've got to have an external shunt, which only really monitors total inflow and outflow of battery. So your, your information that you've got from the system is quite limited. Um, the screen doesn't give you a lot of detail. Um, so, you know, like you can have a little bit of a look at how much solar and how much car charge is coming in. But um, that's only if you're using the functionality within that particular product. Um, so what we generally find is that these all-in-one systems are great for people that just want to run a fridge and some lights in their van, but as soon as you start talking about inverters and larger appliances and heaps of solar and all that sort of stuff, you go outside of the scope of what they're designed for and they're not necessarily the right product. So what we've done with this one is we've taken all the functionality for solar, DC-DC, so vehicle charging, um, and monitoring away from the installed system that came with the van. And what we've done is we've put in an Enerdrive system completely. So Enerdrive DC-DC charger, um, two Enerdrive 40 amp MPPTs, and a full Simarine monitoring package. So um, as I say, the van came with a 2600 watt inverter, um, which we've just reconnected into the new system. Uh, we've also added uh, 390 watt um, solar panels on the roof to complement the existing 510 that came with the uh, the van and um, everything was already mounted underneath the seat so we've continued on with the theory of that um, which was a little bit of a head scratcher as to how we were going to do that because the batteries that came with the van are literally ginormous. They're massive. They're physically massive. Physically but not massive. Yeah, they they took up probably a six hundred by six hundred footprint, um, which if we use our preferred supplier for batteries, they probably take up less than half of that space. So that's that's a disadvantage. The batteries have a reasonable discharge capacity and customer wasn't overly keen on getting rid of those batteries so we worked with that though they, they are a reasonable quality battery so we weren't too concerned with all of that sort of stuff um, right so come down the back and we'll just quickly show you what we've done down here so as I say the van the van had the BM Pro system already installed so we've retained that to do um, uh, the DC load switching and tanking so the, the customer can still monitor his tanks switch pumps on and off uh, and and um, there's a uh, DC isolation function within the system as well which that's all been retained and we've also retained the 240 volt charging functionality within that as well so you can see it's already got a 240 volt charger so we've retained all of that um, to work with that you know the, the system has now got uh, 1100, sorry, 1080 watts of solar on the roof. So generally these sorts of vans aren't gonna be plugged into power too often. So using that particular device as a charger is totally fine. What we've done here is we've created space on top of the batteries uh, to be able to fit all of our gear. So two solar regulators, a DC-DC charger, 
um, midi fuses, Symarine. Um, we, we worked with the space that was here so that the um, inverter was already mounted there, but sort of in the different spot. So we created a little bit more space in here on top of what was already there without going too far, taking up extra space in tunnel boots and all that sort of stuff. So yes, with the new rules, uh, with batteries in future, we won't be able to do this. We'll have to move the batteries into another area, but in this particular time, we can still do this and it's still within the requirements and the rules and the standards. So um, moving back up to the front where we've got Symarine. So they're, they're, uh, BM Pro Trek is in above the door, which in this van um, is fine. Uh, it would have been nice to be able to work with that in terms of creating the panel up the top, but this is a a composite panel, a composite panel um, caravan. So you know, getting cables up into that space is a little bit tricky. So we've actually put the inverter controller was already up here in this overhead cupboard. So we've worked with that space, um, and we've, as I say, created a nice little usable uh, Symarine package that they can then um, monitor how much is coming in from each solar string. So once again, I've brought each solar regulator into a separate channel on the on the Symarine um, and we can monitor how much is coming in from each string. So 570 watts on one, 510 on the other. Uh, we've also given them the ability to monitor a portable panel or the vehicle charging. Um, we can see how much load the BM Pro is using or how much it's charging when it's plugged into 240. And we've got totals coming in and out as well. Um, so that is their little information hub. The customer's complaint was basically that they weren't getting enough information. They didn't feel like they were getting the right amount of charge through. Uh, they weren't able to monitor battery levels properly because all you're given is a, is a four bar gauge from that particular screen, which as I say, might be okay if you're running a fridge, but as soon as you start using you know, we're running the air conditioner at the moment from, from the battery, so. Right, so it's, it's a system that's designed to do, to run 240 volt appliances, so you really need to understand what is happening yeah, in terms of load and correct. recharge, and that just wasn't sufficient. It wasn't sufficient at all, and you know, with a Symarine, it's a percentage-based thing, so it, it is literally monitoring how much is coming in and how much is going out. Yeah. And it can tell you specifically at the time how much time you've got till you're fully charged or how much time you've got till you're empty basically how much time remaining. So um, the other thing they wanted us to do was to connect their Starlink. So he's just bought um, Starlink and is yet to be set up. So what I've done is I've actually connected it up and I'll we'll go outside and have a bit of a look. But basically there's dishing in here um, and the router is outside in the external TV cupboard. So come outside, I'll quickly show you that. So we've got a, um, a little RJ45 pass-through, which I've connected um, the Starlink dish to. Um, so they plug, their, they plug their Starlink into that, um, turn their inverter on, because it's 240, and then they've got their, in, uh, their router in here. So um, all connected easily. All he's got to do is get his Starlink out, put dishy out, plug it in, turn the inverter on, and it's done. So come back inside. Um, so, in summary, this van came with a system that probably was a little bit undersized from a couple of perspectives in terms of what they wanted to do. The 240 was already done, so the van manufacturer give, gave um, the customer the ability to run their air conditioner. Um, they can't run their hot water system, so the hot water won't switch on unless you plug into mains, um, which is something that we do we normally do we normally give you the ability to run your hot water off your inverter um, but generally um, the information that's provided here in the Symarine plus the ability to turn on and off the inverter um, is all very usable very functional in the overhead cupboard up here so um, please give us a call if you have any questions in relation to anything we've just gone through uh, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Speak to you soon. Cheers.